guys, it's Lynn with Little Fit Nursery. I wanted to pop on and make a video. And um, I'm gonna be a little bit vulnerable in this video because um, basically, you know, you know, I wanted to chat a little bit about, you know, when you're new to the hobby, and I'm not talking about collecting, I'm talking about as an as a reborn artist. Um, it is, uh, it can be really discouraging, I think, for newbies coming into the hobby. And it, it's very, um, it's, it's not the easiest hobby in the sense of, you know, from a, in terms of painting, right? There's a lot of different steps. There's a lot of different things to learn. Um, and you know, all of us had to start somewhere. I guess I'll just start there. Anyway, I'm here with Vera. She is, um, a baby that I painted, um, about a year ago, um, uh, for the Rose Doll Show contest. And I've kept her in my collection. Um, she's the only one that I've kept out of the ones, um, that I've kind of painted that I consider, um, more of my more recent work um, but my first four babies that I painted four or five babies that I painted I still have um, you know the, they're in Audrey's room we still have them and uh, the very first baby that I painted um, was the Avery kit by Bountiful Baby and you know I had posted that doll uh, you know there was a thread that was started in Bountiful Baby about hey, post the first Reborns that you ever painted, right? And I think the idea was like, hey, this is like the very first one you did. And some people were incredibly impressive and their first babies actually looked really, really nice. And then there were others like myself whose first baby didn't look so nice. And I thought, okay, you know, I'll participate. I'll put mine, mine out there as well. And I never claimed that this was a good baby, okay? So, and I think I even mentioned this in um, one of my videos I did before showing the first few that I painted. And I think even between baby number one um, and baby number, you know, three or four, you can definitely see the progression and see the improvement. Um, but anyway, there was a post um, by one of my um, Facebook friends um, basically expressing frustration about kind of just posting some pictures of some dolls that were not attractive um, that had recently sold and you know uh, by you know an artist who takes custom orders and and you know they are yeah and there were a lot of flaws with the baby like I think the eyebrows were too thick the hair was pluggy you know the paint was probably there wasn't enough depth and layering in the paint your shading and you know things like that so there was a lot of you know, a, uh, and then just kind of frustration about how um, it was so hard to sell dolls now, and because I, you know, just with the market being flooded, you know, by reborn artists, and then also just expressing people, ex you know, people um, expecting to get a baby for nothing or for a super cheap price. Um, so, it, so the post was a little bit of a rant, you know, kind of covering a multiple, multiple, multitude of topics. And, um, and then, you know, the response to the post and, and, and again, I, I definitely understand, um, the feelings right behind that because it, it's true. You know, when you have, um, a lot of dolls out in the market, there's a lot of competition. It creates a lot more competition for artists who are trying to sell their work. Um, absolutely. And then I think, um, and I guess their whole point was like these dolls that are badly done, um, or not done well, like it really, you know, hurts the reputation of the hobby. Um, and also, you know, really, um, it's, it's like the hobby isn't what it used to be and, you know, and, and things like that. So I, I, I understand all of that because it, it is an art form. Um, you know, it is true. I mean, everyone has different tastes though. And so, you know, one of the dolls she posted that was, by the way, I'm going to change Vera <laughs> into an outfit while we chat. So let me put her into this really cute romper. This is by Carter. Oh, no, no, it's by Jimboree. So sad, Jimboree's no longer around, but this romper is really, really cute. So I'm gonna change her into it. And um, she's still wearing a Christmas outfit, you guys. It's May. <laughs> so um, so anyway, I, um, so anyway, a lot of people were responding to this post. And then, um, and then there's this one artist who posted, um, who basically posted, put three separate posts of basically kind of other examples of like badly done dolls, like in her opinion. And I didn't even know, I couldn't even figure out where she got this photo, but I was so horrified because one of the dolls was a picture of my Avery, my very first baby that I painted, who I know is not, is not good. Like if I saw that doll, you know, posted somewhere for sale, I'd be like, Oh man, that baby's a hot mess. Like I, 
I don't disagree. Okay. But I was, it was still hurtful, I guess, to feel like, you know, and, and also, and then I figured out where that photo was posted. It was posted in the Bountiful Baby form in that thread about like, show me your very first baby. And, um, yeah, and, and there were, um, and just so you guys know too, like when I first posted a picture of that baby, um, there were, I, I, I got a couple comments, like some people actually really liked her. Like they really liked, um, I, I, I was, I was like, I figured like it was my first baby. I was just going to try to practice like all the techniques. So I tried to practice veining. I tried to practice shading, um, creasing, you know, like the creases were dirty. I mean, there's a lot of things that were wrong with that doll. Um, but you know, and then I figure, well, you know, she's already messed up anyway. So why don't I try painting her hair and then do a, uh, doing a whole combi thing by also rooting on top of the painted hair. So it was the only baby that I've ever even tried doing any sort of rooting at all, really. Uh, oh, except for Gemma. Gemma was another one. I did a little bit of light rooting at the top, but my rooting isn't good. So I didn't, so I haven't really tried rooting anymore, but I am going to take a rooting class this summer at the Rose Doll Show. I'm taking the beginner rooting class and hopefully, um, hopefully I can learn, you know, some techniques there. So, and guys, I am a, I work full time. This is purely a hobby for me. Like I'm, I'm definitely a collector first and kind of an artist or, you know, reborn painter slash hobbyist second. So, and I know my work is not like, it's not, it's not prototype caliber. It's, it's not at the same level as many of these artists who've been doing this for years and years. And I also, just because I'm so busy, I haven't had as much time to really even explore tutorials and things like that. Oh my gosh, Vera looks so cute in this. Hey baby girl. Oh my goodness. She looks so cute. Oh, sorry. I just got to give her a little hug. <laughs> um, so I, so anyway, I was horrified to see my my Avery, <laughs> Avery's photo posted as an example of one of these horrible dolls. This was in the comments, by the way, it wasn't the, in the initial original post. Cause look, I wasn't trying to sell Avery. I wasn't trying to advertise that she was, a, but I thought it was good work or anything like that. And, um, and clearly this person, you know, went to the Bountiful Baby Forum and basically took her photo from all of us posting that it was our very first baby. And so she knew that this was my very first baby that I had ever attempted to paint. Okay. And so it was like, she kind of went in there trying to fish for just, I don't know, pictures of reborn she thought weren't well done. And she was just going to publicly humiliate all of us, you know? And, um, and look guys, I get it. Like, you know, but again, I never claimed that was a good doll and it was my very first attempt. And so, but, but it was still stung. Like I'm human and you know, it hurt my feelings, even though I was like, I know it's not like, you know, I, I know my work has gotten better, you know, but it was just like, oh my gosh. So I'm, I'm going to show Avery to you guys right now. Um, this is Vera. So let me, let me move Vera over just a little bit. I'm going to show you guys Avery. <laughs> So, you know, and, and she has gone through, she's gone through a lot, man. She's, um, her, some of her paint has chipped off. She's been in Audrey's room. She has not been babied at all, but let me show her to you guys. And I know you guys are going to be, so yeah, you can see she's got way, way, way too much color on her. Um, the hair is definitely pluggy. Yeah. Some of the paint has rubbed, has come off because she just hasn't been really taken care of. She's just been in Audrey's room. Um, yeah. And I look at like her hands and yeah, they're really, they're really bad. Like I get it. Like it's really badly done. Um, so, okay. Let me just take her out of the photo. So I, I get it. Like, like, and I would have just thrown her away except Audrey was like, Oh look, it's a rainbow baby. And, and she kind of like, I don't know. She kind of liked her for whatever reason. And honestly, I was proud of her. Like when I first did it, cause it, I was like, it was my very first time making a reborn. I was like, wow, this was so many steps. I finally finished it. I was, um, and, and yes, like I'm a collector and I'm not blind. So I know not a good, it, it's, she's, she's not cute. Okay. I would never try to sell her. I don't think I could even give her away. <laughs> like, I mean, it is like, I get it. Okay. So, you know, but I, I just, I just felt like, I just felt like it was unnecessary to, you know, um, it was unnecessary to kind of publicly call out a specific artist like that, you know, I, or I guess publicly, 
try to shame other artists. I just didn't think that was a very nice thing to do. It's just not something I would do. And, um, and I guess people did talk about the fact that, you know, hey, reborn artists are so sensitive and, you know, people who are not good or they're bad at what they do, they should just be told that. So they should go find another hobby. And, um, and there's so many different posts on that thread. But um, I guess what I would say is we all paint for different reasons. Um, you know, we may just enjoy painting the process of painting, regardless of the finished product. And then I think the art, the so those who are beginners, like they're learning with each baby and hopefully trying to improve, but may, they may just really enjoy the process of painting, but they can't, you know, keep every doll that they make. And so just to at least recoup the cost of materials, they might decide to sell that baby super cheap on eBay or just super cheap through a Facebook group. And, um, and that's just to kind of help cover the cost of their supplies so they can keep learning and keep painting. And there are some who sell their dolls for extremely inexpensive because they feel like, Hey, I'm just doing this for fun and it's just purely enjoyable for me. I'm not trying to like make this big profit. And, um, and so, but I know that other, um, but I know maybe because of that, perhaps some collectors have more of an expectation that the dolls should be cheaper. And that um, really annoys the more experienced artists who do command higher price points. And their dolls are absolutely worth every penny that they sell them for. Like I know, like as much as I love Vera, I'm not gonna try to sell her for a thousand dollars. Like that's not realistic. Like, you know, I know my level and you know, what's kind of realistic for her. Um, so I try to charge something that I feel is reasonable for the level of quality that I'm at. Um, which is why also when I first sold Gemma, I sold her for like, I think it was 200 or something like that. So she was just, uh, like, you know, she was, she was, a, she was really cheap. Um, because I knew she had some flaws. I knew she wasn't perfect. There are a few things about her. Like I tried to do combi hair, but the, the hair was a little pluggy. And you know, there, there are some things about her that were not perfect, but I thought she was cute enough that I could sell her and kind of recoup my cost on her. But Avery, yeah, no way. Like <laughs> there's no way I would, I would sell Avery. I like, I agree. She's not well done. And, and I thought that whole post of us showing our first dolls, so many of the artists on the Bountiful Baby Forum, and those ladies are just so lovely and so nice. A lot of us were posting that the very first dolls we painted were awful. Like some, some of them just chucked them, chucked it in the trash. <laughs> like it's like, I get it. Like she's not, she's not good. Okay. Like I'm not saying she's good or I'm trying to I'm not saying that she is like the best representation of the reborn art form, but I still felt like, okay, you know, that's a little bit of a cheap shot to take a beginner's work, you know, some, you know, a doll that was clearly done the very first baby someone painted and, and stick it on, you know, that post. I just thought it was sort of uncalled for just my opinion. Um, didn't think it was a very nice thing to do. So, and it's not something I personally would do. If I see a baby and I don't think it's cute and someone's posting a picture of it and I just don't think it's cute, I just don't say anything. Like I don't, you know, I've, I guess I just try to abide by the, you know, whole, it's like what you learn in kindergarten, right? It's like, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything at all. And, um, and I think too, the original post, like, you know, she, um, had posted, uh, you know, a couple of pictures of this doll that had recently sold. And, you know, the actual um, collector who purchased that baby um, actually commented on the thread and, and, and was kind of upset because she was like, hey, I, you know, I know I bought when I bought this baby from a beginner, like I, I like I, I, I love the baby. I love I, I really appreciate it. And then, yes, it's not perfect, but I really like it a lot. And, you know, just maybe, you know, it doesn't seem like a nice thing to do to kind of call out a specific artist. You know, I think maybe. Um, you know, or maybe like, I, and I, and I don't mind like when, you know, if it's a post like that, like just talking about, you know, if like just in general things that you don't like seeing on reborn babies, like, you know, if the eyebrows are thick, like one of the pictures I was posted, the eyebrows was literally looked like a Sharpie, a black Sharpie had been drawn across it. So yeah, no, I agree. That is like not even putting in an effort. Like I feel like at least with Avery, like Look, I, I made it an attempt at eyebrows, okay? And yes, I messed up a lot of things with this baby, but, you know, she's pretty darn cuddly. Like, you know, I I don't know. It, it just, like, I, I, I was really trying, like, to, you know, 
try, try my best to imitate the technique. Um, and it just takes practice. And like I, you know, over time feel like I got better, but, um, and, but you know, I'm still, I'm still like working on it and I have a long, long ways to go. So, um, I still consider myself a beginner, you know, I don't consider myself in, even intermediate as an artist because there's certain things I still feel like I want to, I need to master and learn, learn how to do better. But, um, anyway, I, I just, I, I just think that, you know, we could all probably, I, I just wanted to pop on and say something about it because I, I honestly, when I saw that, it really did sting and it, and initially it did hurt. Um, and, but the thing is like, you know, I, and I think the other, um, the other topic around like giving feedback to artists, like somebody had posted about, for example, the Rose Doll Show contest, you know, when you enter the contests, you're not given any feedback on your entry. And some of the artists were like, Hey, I would actually really, really like to get some feedback. And, um, and the reason they don't get feedback is because not everybody wants the feedback. Like, you know, I think usually when somebody's entering a baby in a show, it's a baby that they like, and they're pretty proud of, you know, that they feel like they did a good job on it. If you didn't think you did a good job on it, I don't think you would try to enter it in a doll show. So, um, I don't know, maybe I should enter Avery as a joke. <laughs> I'm totally joking, you guys. I'm just feeling a little cheeky now. But, um, but like, you know, I, you know, I, I think that there's an element of, there's maybe an element of that. Like, okay, maybe, you know, um, and I have like posted on for some of the forums asking for feedback on certain works in progress and things like that. Um, and you know, and I do always appreciate, you know, when ladies are like kind and constructive in their feedback, I think for you, for someone to just say, Hey, that doll is horrible. I think, you know, it's, that's not very constructive. It's just kind of hurtful. But I think if you have something, you know, that you could say that would help that artist, but say it in like a really nice way. And Ellie, uh, and sorry, not, I don't want to call out any specific names, but one of the other commenters said, Hey, you know, maybe the best thing to do would be to private message that person and, um, with the constructive feedback. So you're not kind of calling them out publicly and shaming them. You know, I, I, I did, I did feel, and given that Avery was one of the ones that was posted in one of the comments as examples of like terrible work, like, um, I did feel like that public shaming, you know, and, and I has, and I debated like whether I should say something. And so, you know, I, I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to just, I'm just going to hop on and like reply to that and just kind of explain, yeah, it was my first baby. I knew, I knew it was not, it wasn't good. <laughs> like wasn't a good doll. Like I, I get that, but, um, but you know, I've definitely continued to work and improve and, um, you know, and I just posted a picture of Vera who was a baby I made maybe about 20, 20 dolls later, about a year later. So, you know, um, and I want to keep getting better. I really, really do. Um, but you know, the truth is like right now with my time being more constrained, I don't have as much time to like look at tutorials and stuff. I am excited to take a rooting class at the doll show this summer. Um, but anyway, I guess I would just say like, I, um, I, you know, I, I understand where the experienced artists are coming from. Like they feel like the art form is, you know, that some of these dolls are just really not art. Like people are slapping a few layers of paint and calling it art and just trying to make a quick buck. I, I, I get that. But, um, at the end of the day, it is a, um, this is, you know, nobody is forcing anybody to purchase any of these dolls, right? So it's all, it does come down to supply and demand and pricing. And sometimes people, you know, will, you know, a beginner will make a doll and then price it really low. Cause they know it's not, they, they know it's not at the same level as the more expensive dolls. And maybe a collector out there can't afford to spend 700 or a thousand dollars on a reborn. So they'll buy one for 150 or 200 or 250, um, from a, you know, an artist that is not quite as advanced and they'll love that baby and appreciate that baby. And so, um, and, you know, maybe there's a mom out there, you know, I mean, Audrey, I, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to keep Avery forever because she is the very first one I did. And it's like, you know, it's a reminder of, you know, how far, hopefully how far, like I've improved, right? If you kind of see the side by side, it's a big difference. And so, you know, I, um, so, and, and I was encouraged by that, by the Bountiful Baby ladies there. Like, everybody was saying, keep the first one you did just, just to kind of, 
know how far you came, you know? So, um, anyway, I just wanted to hop on and talk about that. I feel a lot better just getting a chance to talk it through a little bit, but gosh, initially I was like, wow, that's harsh. <laughs> I was so, and I was embarrassed. Like I, I genuinely felt really embarrassed and, and, and I thought, where did she get that photo? Like, you know, if I posted that, I'm sure it would have been in reference to that being the very first one I did. So we all have to start somewhere and it's an art form. We're all evolving. And so if you painted, if your babies are like not great right now, those of you guys who are out there and you're new to painting, or maybe if you've been painting out a while and this is just not your gift, right? Like just, you know, you, you have to know um, the reason why you're doing it and why you're in the hobby. There are artists, the ones that are, of course, more advanced, like they're painting, this is their full time. They're doing this professionally. This is their livelihood. This is their income. And then there are those of us, like myself, who are hobbyists. You know, we're painting, like I do have, of course, custom orders. And you guys have seen so many of the babies that I've painted and sold um, over the last couple of years. And, you know, I, I do this very, 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 very part time. So, um, and you know, this, the last few months have been definitely, um, super busy. So I've been a lot slower than I normally am. Um, but you know, I, uh, you know, so, th so like myself, it is very much something I have to fit in part time and, and, and just, and it's just for fun. Like I never force myself to paint if I'm not feeling up for it. If I'm not like feeling inspired and, and feeling excited to work on that doll, I'm not going to do it because I, for me, it's like about the love I try to pour into my work. And, and even though, you know, right now too, I would not say my babies are flawless. They ha they'll have like little things. And, 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 and once I kind of finish up these next couple of custom orders, I want to try experimenting with some different paint and try following some other tutorials and try some new things, um, just to continue the learning process. So, um, Anyway, I don't know how long I've been talking. I think it's, it feels like it's been a really long time. So I'll go ahead and um, uh, end this video. Uh, and just if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And I guess to the person who posted, you know, posted originally and then the person who posted Avery, I don't, um, I'm not mad at either of you guys at all. Like I, I just, like I thought about it and I definitely understand you know, where they're coming from. Like they're both much more accomplished artists than I am and some of the other beginners. But, um, but, you know, but I also am trying to put myself like I've developed a thicker skin, you know, being on YouTube for a couple of years, but, um, but I know that it would, you know, I, I could see it deeply hurting, you know, some, some people and, it, and definitely seeing it for myself, it did sting. So I, um, so I'm just trying to figure out like, how can we support each other in the art uh, while also, of course, holding the art to a high standard. And that's where I think things like the, um, there are these like different awards and certifications people can earn, you know, to be recognized in the Reborn um, community. And I think all of that is just awesome. And of course, the doll shows are an amazing place to get inspired and, and admire other artists' work and to take classes and try to improve their tutorials we can all watch online. There's just new stuff coming out all the time. And so I just hope that we can encourage each other in the hobby. Um, and those of those of us who are still works in process, you know, don't quit, don't give up. If you like painting because you just enjoy painting, even if the dolls don't turn out that great, I, I would just say, don't worry about it. You know, if there's a buyer out there who wants to buy it, um, and I, I would just say, make sure you take good, clear pictures so the buyer knows what they're getting. And if they want to get the, you know, get a baby that has the Sharpie eyebrows and they're okay with that, then, um, you know what, it, it's a, it's, it, this is a, this is a free, um, free, free trade capitalism society. So more power to them. Right. So, and you know, that artist may just be trying to you know, recoup at least the cost of their materials so they can move on and try to get better with the next baby. So we don't know every artist's situation and story. So that's just my point of view on it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Vera's going to say bye. And, um, and I'm going to show you guys her, the back of her head because I really love how her painted hair came out on, uh, for this little one. So, but I will not be entering the doll show contest because I don't have a baby to enter. It's so sad. Like I've been, I'm just trying to finish up a couple custom orders. And then I realized I need to paint a baby 
um, so that I can bring a head with me to root. <laughs> so I need to, um, for, for my rooting class, I, I need to do that. So anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys will subscribe, like, and comment, and share this video, and I will see you all later. Bye.